Hey guys, it's me, Cuba9000. Um, I recently got a request to um, from someone to make a tutorial on how to do I accidentally X videos. So, um, oh look at me, I have a 98 cursor scheme. All right, so I'm going to be doing that now. I also got another request to. I accidentally NET, so I'm gonna find the NET closing logo. Now the first part is pretty simple. First you should pan and crop it to fit the video, and I want widescreen. So it's it, it did that. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get to a point where there is a moving object. Not sure which moving object to pick. I could do the moving letters. That would be good. So I want to. So now that I've picked a moving object, which is necessary, I'm going to go to the last frame. Now, right there is where the T stops moving. So NET is my moving object, and the T stopping is the end of the movement. So I'm going to split it here, pressing S. That covers step one. Find choose a moving object and follow it to the end of its motion and split the video there. Now I'm going to copy and paste and reverse this part of the video. So now I should end up with something like this. Now the sound doesn't really matter, but I'll admit it, this sounds kind of funny. So um, what you want to do to the second part of the clip that's reversed is go to the um, pan crop position and change the width to negative whatever it was to mirror it. Now I don't know why but mirror does not want to flip the video it actually wants to put a mirror somewhere in the video so um, I have to use pan crop to flip it this way so now it's gonna look like this and then you just leave it like that. Now what I'll do is paste again find some point later in the video where there's noise right here make a very 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 small region In fact, what you want to do is zoom in on it, make sure you're getting only three frames. There we go. Now I'll take this and copy it, so there's four of them. Just double checking, I have the right length. Alright, so now that I have that, here's where it gets tricky. I want to make sure that the um, each of the four is panned differently, or cropped differently, I should say. One is going to be normal, one is going to be flipped horizontally, one is going to be flipped vertically, and one is going to be flipped both horizontally and vertically, so basically just turned upside down. What I'm going to do, just for example, sorry I didn't want effects, I'm going to go to here, oh by the way I didn't mention it earlier, make sure that that is not 
make sure that you don't have lock aspect ratio. So I'm going to flip this upside down to negative 270. Or not upside down, but flip it vertically. If you turn your head, you should see that it does not look like the normal logo, which is good. This one I'm going to flip horizontally. This one I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. So now you get something like this. Which is good. You want that. Oh, and I should have done this earlier. Um, turn the volume up to 6.021, which is just the highest you can get. Ooh, lagging a little bit. I better be careful. So now we're going to go to volume again. Another way to do this is to just apply the volume to the first clip before you copy it. And then copy it again, which I should have done. That's better. Now in the video effects, I'm going to go to channel blend. You can mix and match these in any order, but I recommend using red only channel blend green only channel blend, blue only channel blend, and invert 100% in that order. So my normal is going to turn red. Flip vertical is going to turn green. Flip horizontal is going to turn blue. Then I'm going to get an invert and 100% inversion. So it should look like that, which is good still. Select all four of these and I'm hitting control V now. So one, two, three. This last one, this last set, I'm going to shrink, oops, sorry, not grow, shrink each clip by a frame. So now there are only two frames. And I'm going to um, not change the uh, opacity. I'm going to line them up like that. Now these little automatic fade things it makes, I I just don't worry about those. They've never really affected the video much, but if you feel strongly about it, you can get rid of them. Now I'm going to hit control C, copy those and paste one, paste two, paste three. Now that I have them all pasted, what I'm going to do now is oop, shrink them all again by a frame. So now these remaining square thingies are all a single frame long. And it goes very fast. What I'm going to do is copy one, oop, sorry. I didn't copy enough. Make sure you have all of them selected. Sometimes it is not cooperative when you try to select all four. So, um, I don't want that either. So I'll just select all four of these. Control C, V, V, V. This last set, don't change anything about it. See how far we are. Alright, so that's what we want. And lastly, what I'm going to do is Control V get rid of these three and that one too and this last one I'll just extend it to the end so now it's going to be like 
and I'm going to change the effects on the audio. I'm going to add pitch shift and distortion. And I'm going to remove the volume effect. Actually, you know what? I'm going to apply distortion twice. So I want... I don't want a preset. I want A17, preserved duration, and negative 4 semitones. So it's going to pitch down by 4. Express effects distortion, I want mangle. And I want mangle twice. So that sounds really distorted. Now what I'm going to do up here, and this is this I'm going to leave up for you guys to see as I'll add gradient map, remove the channel blend. And I have a preset on here called Colorama. You guys get a good look. If you don't, then zoom in on it because I'm not very handy with Hypercam, so I can't zoom in on it for you, unfortunately. Um, that is the preset Colorama, and it's supposed to imitate the Colorama from Adobe After Effects. So we have at the, um, I believe this is the light color. Hang on a second. I'm going to artificial. No, that's the dark color. Sorry. So dark colors are red. Slightly brighter is yellow. Brighter is green. Mid bright is cyan, cayenne, however you pronounce it. I don't know. Bright colors are blue. Very bright colors are six, or are, are pink. And then near white colors are red. So it's the whole spectrum of colors. Now that I have Colorama applied, you can also rewind and pause the video. I'm going to go to the pan crop and how long is this? It's uh, like 14 to 17. So it's about three seconds. I'm going to change the rotation to, let's try 1080, not 1880, or 18180, or whatever. I Basically, I made a mistake. Okay. Angles 180. I mean zero. Sorry to confuse you, but I'm making a couple of mistakes of my own. Now you want a keyframe at the end, turn on lock aspect ratio. The width, zero. Angle, 1080, because of three seconds. Now if this rotates too fast, I'll change it to 720, and if it's too slow, I'll change it to 1440, something like that. Okay, that's rotating way too fast. So what I'll do is 720. That's a little better. I might even reduce it to 540 or 360. Well, let's see how 360 looks. Yeah, I'll bump about. I'll bump it up to um, 5 720. You should have the angle in multiples of 360. that just zooms in and it ends off and I'm going to add my Cuber 9000 logo the new guy in the upper track Oop, don't want to scroll go to the end and go another second now if you don't have a logo then you can just put like a second blank space small great let's see what we have so far
that is what you want. Um, if you have the HTML5 player in Google Chrome or some other browser, you can make this video as slow or fast as you like. Otherwise, you can pause, you can rewind to certain steps, and you can do just do whatever you need to. Also, if you need clarification, you can leave a comment. But I hope this helps. I'm going to render my video. Lastly, you don't want the quality of the video to exceed the quality of the source that much. Now, I don't want to go to 320 by 240 because that's just ridiculously small and it doesn't have widescreen. So I'm going to go 640 by 360. But you normally don't want the um this the size to exceed the source. The source was very small and therefore my result video would be very small. If I chose an HD logo, it'd be different. So much clarification. Why? And <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> So yeah, that's what you want to happen. Well, that was great. Um, I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. And I hope this video is clear, informative, and helpful. And I'm going to be publishing the result. I accidentally NET at some time. So, great.